I've been asked that a few times, and I don't know. It just felt right. Um, I learned early on to follow my gut because um, it's usually right, and it's really just just felt right for me. Um, my family's here, you know. I live here, lived here for the last you know, five years. Uh, an opportunity, uh, the player base that's here, having been involved with Counties Monaco and, and seeing you know, the players that are coming through, um, watching the schoolboys uh, and what, what they're doing, um, being involved with the under 20s uh, was again something that you know helped with that decision. We're talking about a club, aren't we? This isn't a region, this isn't Auckland, this isn't North Harbour. It's committing to the Blues as a club. And when you look at the club you're coming into, are you confident the direction that JK was taking the club in was the right one? Oh, I am. I am. There's a lot of things, uh, systems that have been put in place that I, I still need to learn, but I, I think they're very positive. Um, and, and it's for me to now to help those grow and also add my flavour to it and, and what I what I see is important and uh, you know, in the end you know, we are judged by success on the field so that's where I have to uh, make sure that you know, we do get that. Um, at the moment you know, my first job would, is uh, in terms of selections, uh, squad, retention, recruitment. Um, I, I think we're, we're, we're actually pretty well uh, in a good place right now you know, with 20 signatures. But obviously, you know, we, we've got another 12 to find. What's your initial message to the Blues fans? The Blues fans, I think, probably at the moment, uh, are a frustrated uh, fan base. Mm. Uh, don't lose faith. You know, we, we'll work hard to win your respect and win you back and do everything we can through our actions uh, to do that. Um, and hopefully you'll see that and, and want to be uh, a part of us again if, if you're not already. And, um, so you know, we just want to get out there and work hard. How important is the Blues relationship with Auckland Rugby? Uh, well, it's important, just as important as it is with everyone uh, in terms of Harbour and, and, and Northland. You know, it's, it's steeped in history. Uh, there's obviously been a, um, a slight separation in, 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 in the two. Um, but they they need to be working together because our base is here. Uh, a lot of the the players play within Auckland, uh, so our relationship's key. And it's, it has to be strong, and you know when you're starting off, your relationships you have to keep growing them and, and making sure that they work and making sure they work for both parties, not just one. A week ago, though, it was a vastly different situation, wasn't it? You were going to be working with J.K. Uh, in, in almost dual roles in and around the team. How's that changed through him now stepping down? Has that meant your responsibilities have become greater? Uh, I think it's just gone back to uh, what each franchise, uh, each franchise has in terms of uh, head coach. Yep. Uh, like you say, we had split roles um, and I was happy with that. We'd discussed things uh, in the job descriptions about you know who looked after what and you know, we all had a say in all the areas, uh, and then um, he, Sir JK made his decision, and which really, you know, we had to go back to square one and, and start again, which is why it took a little bit you know, for us to really nail down that detail and, and, and get that contract signed. But but I'm happy it's done, you know, and I can officially call myself a blue now, and I'm looking forward to it. We well, committed to coaching counties this year. This next couple of months is going to be pr pretty frenetic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. You know, just trying to do two jobs. Um, but again, you know, if you're prepared and, and you understand that, and you know, you're making sure that in each uh, environment you're doing the best for that environment, then I don't think I'll have a problem. I've done it before. Uh, I'm used to it. Um, probably, you know, this will really challenge me in terms of at this level. Yep. But again, I, 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 I just look forward to these kind of things and um, the challenge that it'll, and I'm only going to learn from it. That there's no two ways about it. Um, I've been involved in teams who have had to go out there and, and really garner support for um, for a franchise. You know, we did that early in the the years of uh, the Hurricanes, where we went out all the towns because we had to because we didn't really have one identity. Um, and we didn't have the most successful unions being a part of that. And we built something you know, quite good. 
Um, so I, I have an idea how it could be done and how it should be done. And now you see with, but in the end, you know, they want to see success. Uh, but you know, that'll that'll take a little bit of time for us. Yep. Uh, but you see with the hurricanes now, they've you know, everyone's starting to come back because now that they, they, they've got success. But they realise that too that you know they had to work hard to to win that back.